Ready. Play. Thank you. Having a good week. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start us off. Um, so it's, it's been a pretty good year, actually, in general. I think you got a 4-2 record against the top 100, quarterfinals and while in, traveling the globe. I mean, you've been everywhere, right? Much so, so what has it been like, and, and why do you think it's kind of clicking into place for you um, this week in Indian Wells? It's just a product of all the hard work you've been doing this season? Yeah, I think it's a product of all the hard work that we started in December and um, did a full preseason. I ended last year with an injury, so I stopped playing in October, the end of October, and then we healed my wrist, and I kind of came with a new and fresh attitude and a new team, actually, all around, so it's been going pretty well for me. I think our personalities work well together, and I've been enjoying seeing the globe <laughs> with, my <laughs> with my coach and with my team and keeping a good attitude, and I think that helps a lot. Um, new team. Can you tell me then? It's not Henner yeah. anymore. No, it's not. Tell me about your team, please. Yeah, my coach is Alejandro Dulco as of December. Um, so we did the whole preseason together, and he's been with me at every tournament this season so far, and that's been really awesome for me. Mm -hmm. why, why is it then it's such a good fit for you, do you think? Is it just the personalities, or yeah. you learning the game perhaps and seeing elements of your game that you didn't see before? Um, I think it's a good personality fit and I also know that he has a lot of experience because he coached his sister for years on tour. and Gisella. Yeah, Gisella, oh, okay. exactly. Yeah. So I really, I really like the new input that he gives me. He just gives me subtle reminders of certain things that are my strengths and every day we work on improving Kind of all around, not just one thing, but everything all around. Great, please jump in. Yeah. Um, well, I was just going to talk about the event, the venue. Um, I mean, now you, you're on to the next round. Carolyn Wozniacki is your next opponent. Mm -hmm. You know, these are really big stages. How have you been handling? Has it felt like any pressure? Or are you just going with it? Um, you know, how have you been handling that? I feel like there's always pressure, but I would much rather be in this situation than not be in that situation. So it just makes me happy to be able to play on Stadium 2 two times in a row with a huge crowd. And in Thailand, I played in a big stadium as well. In India, I played in a big stadium against two Indian wild cards in a row, which was great preparation playing with a crowd there. Um, Melbourne, of course, also crowd. So this year, I feel like I've been put in situations that keep preparing me for the next situation. And I love playing in front of people. I feel like that's what tennis is about. And I would much rather play in front of people than play somewhere quiet and silent with nobody watching. Cool. And what about your next opponent, uh, Carolyn Wozniacki? Um, you know, she's coming back um, to t on the tour. What um, What are your thoughts? Like. Are you excited to play her? Yes, I'm definitely very excited. I'm aware that she's a former Grand Slam champion and she's playing really well. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity for me as we're the last two matches. So I'm looking forward to it. This win over Owens, um, two-time Grand Slam finalist, one of the, the greatest talents in the sport we have. Is this, would you call this maybe the biggest win of your career? It is by ranking, by the way, in case you didn't know. I didn't know that. but. <laughs> Uh, definitely one of the biggest wins for me. Um, I, yeah, I'm just reflecting on, I think a previous win similar to that was against Veronica yeah. in Australian Open. Yep. Um, Maybe I've, even a bigger stage. Yeah, I, I think that one was on Margaret Court, mm. so that mm. was probably a bigger court, mm. but, um, yeah, it's just, it's definitely a step in the right direction for me. You hope to get to a place in your career where there's so many big wins you can't decide which one it, it, it was your biggest? That is definitely the goal. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I ask you a thing about your, your game? Sure. Um, kind of a, a game that has no holes, well-balanced, maybe not as...
weapons as some mm -hmm. of the other players on tour. Do you think it takes a little long longer to develop and to, to get comfort in, inside the top 100 with that type of a game because you don't really have a weapon you can rely on and it maybe takes a little more time to understand what you need to do and how you need to do it? Yeah, that's actually a great question. I feel like my strength is movement, so um, definitely it took time to figure out what kind of strategies are favoring me and then I realized that against every opponent it's something different and I think that's what's cool is I can find different solutions and rely on many different tools rather than just like one thing so if one thing is a little off on one day then I can rely on a series of other things so that's taken time to believe in of course because let's say when I was 17 and 18 and I played Bianca Andreescu with my first wild card into the US Open um, I get there but I wouldn't say I had the belief yet or even the exposure yet to see how these different uh, varieties of my game match up against these opponents but I think last year was a great learning year for me because I played against some of the top players in the world and um, this year I've already also played against some of the top players in the world so I think I'm learning with each match and with each day, what kind of tools I can use to disrupt my opponent. Time for another? Mm -hmm. um, I'm from Berkeley, by the way. Oh, that's I awesome. I'm from Berkeley, so you're a well known yeah. person. So yeah. can you tell me a little bit about where you played and wh how you grew up there? Did you stay yeah. out there? Or did you go to Florida or something for a while? Or were you always yeah. in Northern California? I grew up training in Moraga and mm. Fremont. Sweet. And that was like the majority of my junior career. And then last year I trained in Georgia most of the time. And I would say also throughout my whole career I visited USTA a decent amount at least once a year in Florida. Yeah. But I did all of preseason in California and I'm a California girl. I just love it so much. I, I don't want to leave. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.